All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ka'akurash, the one that's elders and apostles of great meals and I do it well, and salutations and blessings to Yahweh that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today I want to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, These Wicked People Will Get Their Punishment. Focus on salvation. All right, and on focusing on that salvation, all right, we focusing on, on, on the brotherhood as well, man. All right, because we're all one body. We're all building each other up. And that's truly what it's all about, man. All right, just a hey, focusing on our salvation and not, hey, how these people are going to be destroyed, how these people are going to perish and be punished. Hey, hey the scriptures already said it. Hey, all these great things are going to happen. All these horrible great things are going to happen to our people, man. All right, the wicked of our nation that don't want to hearken unto what's being said. I was going to happen to the heathen nations. All right, utter destruction, man. A hey, total calamities is about to come upon these people, man. Hey, 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 the already the distress that's, you know, on these people with minds, man, stressing them out, all right, putting a hell on them, man, all right, their life is, 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 is um, you know, of hell as well, man, but they have a hope inside this world, you know, a hey, famine is going to come on these people, a, hey, the, the uh, four sword judgments, a hey, newly created beast in the earth, a, hey, these people about to get their judgments, man, but hey, we got to focus on our salvation and focus on the brethren, all right, building them up, building them up, all right, so they can have more faith. And in, in these last days, and so that we can have more faith in these last days and make our calling and election short. So, any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. This is Second Ezra 9 and 7. It says, And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, right? So, hey, the, the works that you have towards uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, hey, going down the highways and bad ways, uh, doing our lessons, man, building each other up, it says, And by faith, all right, the faith, man, the, the belief that we have in Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, all right. Hey, the, the, you know, a hey, working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. All right. Hey, hey, that faith towards the Hobbit Shemal Shah, man, knowing that hey, if you not stand this course, hey, you're going to be totally destroyed, man. All right. And hey, you're going to be, be, be beaten with uh, many, many stripes. All right. Because we know, we know what, what, what the Lord expects of us. All right. And also, a hey, hey, we had that faith that if we continue in this, the Lord is going to give us these great things that He promised us, man. All right. We have hey, the kingdom of heaven coming. And in the kingdom of heaven, it's, it's, it's all good things, man. All right, everlasting things. Things that we have any, that we can't even fathom is going to come to us. And all of our greatest dreams is going to come to us as well. But it says, whereby ye have believed. So it is, So this is how we're, we're going to escape all that judgment, all these perilous times that are, to, that are to come. All right, by our works and our faith in Yahweh Shah. All right, and, 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 and that faith, all right, in the Lord. That, that faith that we have in the Lord, hey, we, we share that around a, bro around a brotherhood. All right. That's why it says in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, all right, not to um, uh, forsake the assembling of our of ourselves. All right. Lord, we're not grad at that, but, you know, hey, we, we're, we're not going to forsake the assembling of ourselves. We're going to be around brothers, you know, more and more building each other up because, hey, that's what these that's what these last times are about. This is what we hey, this is truly what we need, man, is that hey, we finna come into some horrible, horrible times. All right. It says a time like never before is about to come on the earth. We're going to have to have full assurance of faith in the Lord. So this second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 8 says, shall, Yes, it shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them uh, for me from the beginning. And a delect are already destined to be saved, man. All right. We're already a destined to, to, to get up out of here, but hey, we don't know who the elect are. So, hey, hey, by us not knowing this, man, we got to give diligence to make our calling and election sure. All right, give it everything that we got towards uh, Yahweh Bashem al Shah, man. All right, and, hey, and faith, you know, and faith in, in the only begotten son of Yahweh Shah. All right, because it says that, um, I'm going to grab it right quick. It's Acts 4 and 12. It says, neither is there salvation in any other. So, there is no salvation in any other name. All right, it says, for there is no, there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, all right? So you have to call on that name of Yahweh Shai. You have to believe on, on the only begotten son of Yahweh. Otherwise, you are condemned, all right? You're destined for death, man, destruction. And there's a lot of people that diss our Lord, man. Well, the Lord is going to diss their ass, and they go fall into this category. But it's the second Ezra, chapter 9. And, um, yep, 9, it says, Then shall they be in pitiful case. So these people are going to be in pitiful case, man. Which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. So you about to go through some hell. Are right? you about to go through through a time like never before? Are right? you people eating your children? 
Are right, your minds being totally bugged out? All right, because Esau Edom has, has has lied to you. People told you that, <laughs> hey, everything is gonna be good. Everything is gonna go back to normal. None is gonna happen. All right, just like that movie, um, uh, Don't Look Up. All right, it's a meteor coming to the earth to destroy the planet, and Esau Edom in the media is telling them, hey, hey telling the people, don't look up. It's it's nothing coming. And these dumbass people really, really didn't fucking look up, man. Well, all you gotta do is lift up your lift up your chin, <laughs> you know, like literally, man, lift up your chin and look into the sky and see a meteor coming down to the earth. And then when they finally did, they seen a meteor and they're like, oh shit, like this is really happening. So this is the same thing in, in, in you know in these times, man. It's similar to that. All right, we telling you, hey, Jacob Trouble was coming. Esau Eden was coming with great wrath. All right, you see these 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 concentration camps being built up. Esau Edom finally pushing his new world order, man. I right, want to implement all right, that chip, you know, which is the MOTB. But and seeing these things, man, they 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 still they still are foolish, all right, because they don't have the faith in Yahweh Shai. But hey, they they're gonna dwell they're gonna dwell in those things, man, that we're telling them. But it's the second Ezra chapter 9 and 10. It says, For such as in their life have received have received the benefits and have not known me. Because they are people receive benefits from the Lord. All right, they eat every day, man. All right, they be able to have a good time. The Lord gives them a, you know, new new place to lay their head at. Beautiful places at that, man. You know, it's so many things the Lord gives our people, but they have not known Him. All right, they don't even seek Him, man. They think that it's they think that it's a, a damn idol that's doing this. But it says, and they, or coincidence, says, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty. All right, you had the time to get right to repent. Says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised, and that's what our people do, man. They despise the prophets, they despise the Habash Shemalsha, they despise their, their chance of salvation because they want to be here. They love this place, they love Babylon, man. So, what it says the same must know it after death by pain. So, these people are gonna get that, gonna get that punishment, man. They're gonna get that death by pain, man. All right, they're gonna be brought back into the kingdom in their right minds, all right, through the loins of the elect. All right, that's how they're gonna know it after death by pain when they go through all this 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 horrible hell. All right, some of them, some of them are gonna be up inside that lake of fire, man, burning for a very very long time, and then what? That's 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 gonna purify their purify their minds, man, and Lord is gonna uh put them back put them in, inside of our loins. All right, and they're gonna be reincarnated, you know, through us. All right, through the through the sex that we're gonna have inside the kingdom, man, and reproduce, and they're gonna be brought back into the kingdom in their right minds. Never thinking of sin and go off again, man. All right, which is the greatest thing for them. But it says, and therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. All right, so hey, we know these things are gonna come, man. Hey, we're not focusing on that. We're not focusing on on how these people are gonna be destroyed. All right, a hey, what manner hey, these people are gonna be, you know, uh, torn to pieces by the Lord, man. And when these things are gonna happen. All right, but hey, what it says? But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is? And for whom the world is created. So we worried about the elect. We worried about how they're going to be saved out of all this hell that is to come. All right, this distress. Because our people are already set up for that, man. Hey, that's, that's, that's their destiny. They're destined for death. However way the Lord is going to do it. But they're destined for it, man. But we focus on, on, on building each other up. All right, a, a, a being brothers to each other. So that we can a, get up out of here, man. And be a, on the first go round. But this is Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, it shall come to pass that in all the land, said Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And they, that um, all the land is here in Babylon, man, America. These people are going to, two thirds of our people are going to die here. Right? They're going to die in a horrible fashion here, man. It says, but the third shall be left therein. So the third is going to be saved. The third is going to be preserved, man. All right. As I said, like I said in that second Ezra. It says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. And I will refine them as silver is refined, and uh, and and will try them as gold is tried. So we're gonna go through the trials and tribulations. You know, we're gonna go through hardships. This is why we need to. This is why we need to be built up. All right, in these last times, man. All right, we need to be strengthened and and in, in, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. Because hey, we're gonna go through some. We're gonna go through some things. Um, I'm gonna grab this right quick. Bounce back. This is Acts 14 and 22. It says confirming the souls of the disciples and a right right after this i say right before this when paul was saying this hey he got stoned you know he got stoned man he got put to death but what 
says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. So we're going to go through a lot of things, man. We're going to go through some through, through some shaky times, some distress. Uh, that's why we go through hell or on our day-to-day -day basis, man. So that our faith can be built up in the Lord because you see the situation that the Lord gets us up out of, man. Uh, you will be $5,000 down in the hole, man, and somehow the Lord just pull you out of that, you know. And you will be, be, be in court, man, and it be something that's totally, something you may have done, you know. And hey, the Lord will get you, get you up out of that situation, man. But what? Hey, hey, that's all to build up our faith. So we're gonna have to go through these things, and hey, we got to continue to exhort each other, you know, building each other up. Now let's um go back to this Zechariah thirteen and nine says, and I will bring the third part through the fire, and we and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say Yahweh is my power. All right, so hey, the Lord is going to deliver us. He's going to save us, man. All right, but hey, we have to focus on that salvation. We have to focus on, you know, uh, um, a diligence towards the Yahweh Shema Shah, because that's that's how we're going to be saved. A hey, two thirds of our people are going to get that destruction, man. All right, we know that. Hey, yes, these people vex us. These people irk us, man. All right, every day, man, and we want them. We want them to be destroyed by the Lord speedily, man. In a horrible way, all right? But, hey, that's not our focus, you know? Our focus, on, first and foremost, is our salvation, all right? And, hey, building up each other, man. Because, hey, we want to see us all. We want to see every brother that's next to us make it, man. Hey, we one body. But this is St. Peter's uh, 1 and 1. It says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai, to them that have ob obtained a uh, like precious faith with us through this through the righteousness of Yahweh in our salvation, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Yahweh and uh, and of Yahweh Shai our Lord, according as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. All right, this is we, this is all given through the Holy Spirit. Right, through the Spirit of Yahweh Shai Shai, we we have this understanding. All right, that's why it's not. You know, of us going to schools and all these things, man, and they listen to Edomites and all, all right? This is all through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem al Shah, all right? And we a un unlearned men. Right? It was a, a lesson that um, Apostle Gabar had did earlier, man. All right, we are unlearned men, man. This is all through the spirit of the Lord. This is how we get this understanding in this life, man. It says, uh, through the knowledge of him that have called us to, to glory and virtue, all right, to glory and virtue, man, because now we have a chance at getting the kingdom of heaven, all right, through us being holy and separate from this wicked-ass world, man, this filthy, this filthy, disgusting world, man, you know, we got to totally be separate and totally focus on, on, on building ourselves up, man, so that we can be acceptable men in the sight of Yahweh Hashem al Shah. But um, this is 2 Peter 1 and 4 says, where, whereby... Yes, yeah, says, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, right? Because we're going to get the kingdom and, and, and great, great things, man, is going to come with that. A hey, great promises, man. Things that we can't fathom. It says that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the, the corruption that is in the world through lust, right? We escaped that through, through coming to this life, man. This word it says, and besides this, giving all diligence. All right, we got to get, get diligence to this, man. All right, and that's speaking to myself first and foremost, man. All right, because we can always do more. All right, it says that we can never go far enough, right? Never go far enough, man. That's if we truly want to make it, you know? You truly want to make it, man. You go fear and do everything everything to the best of your ability, all right, to, to get that salvation, all right, from your Yahweh Hashem al because you want to please the Lord and you don't want to fall into that destruction. But this is Sirach 43 and 29. Says Yahweh is, t is terrible, very great and marvelous in, in his power, right? So, hey, what the Lord says that he's gonna do, he's going to do it, man. All right, the Lord said he's gonna they fuck our people up, all right? And in, in, in so many words, man, he's gonna fuck our people up, man. But what? <laughs> hey, also in that, we're gonna get we're gonna get salvation, all right? Hey, he's he's terrible, man, but hey, hey, he is great, marvelous in his power, he can do all things. So, hey, hey his word is absolute. Says when when ye glorify Yahweh, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, 
for ye can never go far enough. All right. So the Lord always wants us to, to be magnifying him, glorifying him, man. All right. Exalting him because hey, you can never do it enough. All right. The Lord is far, far, far greater than us. All right. And we can never glorify him and praise him enough, man. Can never We can never do enough works towards Yahweh Hashem al Shah, especially hey, what we're about to receive, man. But this is uh, 2 Peter 1. Uh, yep, 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse uh, 5. It says, Besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to your virtue knowledge. All right, so us being separate from this world, being holy. All right, now we're building up that knowledge, man. All right, we're building up that knowledge in, in, towards the Hobbit Shema Al Shah. All right, and truly understanding what we should be doing inside this walk, man. You know, not just being robots, but hey, growing and and knowing more, it says, and to and to knowledge, temperance. All right, so hey, to to getting that knowledge, hey, abstaining from certain things, man. Knowing that I okay, well in the world, man, I love to always eat candy all the time, you know, and you just keep on eat, eating the candy, you know, it's, it's fucking you up, you know, it's messing you up. So, hey, then you like, hey, you know what, hey, knowing this, knowing that what 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 you know, giving to sweets do to you and all these things. And giving it to your appetites, what these things do to you, what you're gonna you're gonna get that temperance so that you can a hey, give more to the spirit. All right, because when you feel better, all right, when you feel better in, in, in your flesh, man, a hey, like in your mind, it, cl it cleans up your spirit as well. Like it makes you feel better, it makes you give more to the Lord. You're more energized towards the Habba Shema Shai. You're not just in a slothful down state. And that's hey, that's not what the Lord want, wants us to be, he wants us to be on fire. All right. It says into temperance, patience. And to patience, godly, godliness, all right? So, hey, <clears throat> when you have that temperance, you're going to learn learn patience. Like, okay, hey, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't, you know, going back to the candy. I ain't ate this candy in a hey, five days, man. Let me, all right, let me see if I can do it for six days, you know? And then you're just building up that patience, building up that patience. And then that patience is going to eventually work to godliness. So now you're going to hey, be be on a level like, hey, man, shit, I, 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 don't, ha I don't have to, you know, be 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 in a in a mindset of oh, I just need to have sex all the time, sex all the time. No, all right, because now you're putting your your flesh in subjection. All right, now you're becoming a god, man. With that, with truly, this is what it's all about. It's us becoming gods, us conquering this flesh and overcoming this overcoming this world, man. All right, because this world is wicked as hell, and, and what is it all about? Eat, eat, eat. All right, give into your flesh, give into your flesh, give into your flesh, and hey, we're not supposed to be doing that, man. We're supposed to be godly. We're supposed to be tempered. We're supposed to be balanced, perfect. All right, as the Habash Shemal Shai is. But hey, we do these things to the best of our ability. We're not going to be totally perfect with it, but we're going to try to be. It says, into godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. All right, so hey, yo, you being a God, you're going to understand, hey, hey I got to consider this brother. I got to look at this brother and see, and, 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 you know, see how he feels about this. All right, see how you feel, you know, uh, you know, knowing your brother, man. Knowing your brother, building your brother up. All right, getting that 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 bond between you and a brother. All right, then that charity, and you 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 um you know you being there for that man. All right, yeah, you may wanna wanna you know do something like uh some folly or something, man. You wanna do some folly or something, but now you are giving that charity your time to that brother. All right, you a, a, he may want a, a crown your shoulder. All right, you gotta a, let him crown your shoulder, man, because all these things are gonna all these things are gonna make us abound in the faith that you have about your shy. All right. It's going to make us closer and it's going to make us more balanced and more of God's, man. And hey, also hey, giving up, you know, a money, all these things to, to for the brothers. It says, for if these things be in you uh, and abound that make you, uh, that make, it's like it says, that make ye shall, yeah, that make you, that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. All right, because they all, all of us have, the Holy Spirit upon us, man. So you being around, you know, a so many brothers, it's gonna you're gonna get this from that brother, that from that brother, that from that brother, and you're gonna put it put it upon yourself. And now these things are gonna build you up, and whatever you giving off is gonna build them up, man. All right, you're never gonna be barren. You never you never gonna be unfruitful, lacking. Hey, yeah. Hey, it says, but he, uh, yeah, it says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off. And have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So, hey, if you're not seeing these things and seeing this is what, you know, I must do. And hey, you're blind to the fact that that these are the things that you must do, man, in order to, to build yourself up so that you can get to the kingdom of heaven. 
Well, hey, hey, you, you, you haven't, you haven't truly put off that old man. Cause we're supposed to be purging ourselves from from that old man, all right, from our sins, man. Right, we're not supposed to be like that old man that we that we once were, niggas. Says wherefore the the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for ye, uh, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right. So I give that diligence in all these things, man. All right, giving diligence in all these things: the temperance, the patience, the brotherly kindness, charity. All right, the knowledge. All right, you're studying more and more. All right, and that's speaking to myself first and foremost, man. All these things. All right, because I want to do better and abound more for Yahweh Bashmal Shai, man. Because I know that I know that I can do it, and I know that hey, we all can do it, man. But hey, it says, hey, if we can do a video a day, and we can, hey, man, we can do a lot, man. You know, even though doing a video a day is it's not a hard task, but at times it can be. You know, but hey, we can do these things all through the spirit and, and faith of Yahweh Bashmal Shai. It says Second Peter one and um, Tim read over it says, wherefore the rather brethren. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. It says, for, uh, for so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly and to the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So hey, we're going to get that deliverance, man. All right, if the Lord has mercy upon us, are we going to get that deliverance? We're going to be a given a kingdom of heaven. Are we going to be given a abundantly, a, it says, um, unto you abundantly, into the everlasting kingdom. So we're going to be given uh, the everlasting kingdom, man. Everlasting righteousness, new bodies, man. A godship, kingship, man. Hey, why wouldn't you want that? Hey, shit, man. Something like that. You want to give it your all, you know? But this is uh, Hebrews 10 and 22. It says, let us uh, let us draw near. And they, um, hey, you know, it's lucky, man. If I sound a little weird, I'm, I'm a little hey, ill, man, you know? But uh, this is Hebrews 10 and 22. It says, let us, <clears throat> it says, let us draw near with a true heart and, and full assurance of faith. All right. So we're supposed to have a full heart, uh, a, a true heart towards the Habash man. All right. Truly knowing what we're in. All right. And having that love towards the Lord. All right. Forsaking this world. It says, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Having our hearts, uh, yeah, having our hearts sprinkled. From an evil conscience, or right, having our minds sprinkled, or right, from this wicked ass world, man, this flesh, man. It says, and our bodies washed with pure water. What is that pure water, man? This is uh, Psalms 119. In verse 9, it says, uh, Bet the wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. All right, so hey, this is how you become clean. All right, this is how you cleanse yourself through this word. All right, that's what this this clean water is, and also the Lord's doctrine is likened unto uh, water. Uh, let me see. Yep, this is a uh, Deuteronomy thirty-two and verse one. It says, "Give ear, O heaven." Oh, it's like it says, "Give ear, O ye heavens," and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. All right, what is rain? Water. Says my speech shall distill as the dew, uh, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Right. So this word is likened unto water, man. It's where we have sprinkled ourselves with our our, our, our spirits, our, our minds. We have become clean. We have become clean. So what it says Hebrews ten and twenty three says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. So hey, now, and we have been been clean. All right, from this wicked ass world, man. Now we hold, hold, hold fast to this word, man. Hold fast to this faith that we have in Yahweh Bashmah Shah, not wavering. All right, not looking back, not thinking that hey, I should have did this in the world, I should have did that. No, nah, man. Hey, this is where we're supposed to be at. This is our profession. <laughs> this is our profession, man. Not some bullshit in the world doing some, some, some BS for Esau, man. Being a slave. All right. Hey, man, we are gods. And hey, hey we fighting, we fighting to, to, be made gods on the first go round, all right. They the 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 creme de la creme, all right. As um you know the elder Yaki says a lot, and we want to be at the top of the top. But it says, uh, I'm gonna read over Hebrews ten and twenty three. It says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. All right, because Yahweh Shmuel Shai is not a liar, man. He cannot lie. All right, it's it's impossible for him to lie. So he's gonna he's gonna give us these things as long as we stay the course. 
All right, as long as we endure unto the very end, hey, it's promised to us. It says, verse 24, it says, And let us con consider one another to, to provoke unto love and to good works. All right, so he consider one another. Look, looking at one another. All right, you see a brother getting weak. You see a brother hey, not, not a, a being on a level that he can be on, man. All right, because he's slacking, you know, being lazy. Hey, 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 hey you can get on that brother, man. Provoke that brother to good works. I right, provoke that brother to, to get up. <clears throat> and do better, man. Hey, whether it be a, a reading more, a doing videos, hey, whatever it is, man. Hey, getting a so we can all be on point. All right, and us by us all being on point, a hey, you you watering you watering yourself as well, man. You uplifting a hey, that brother and 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 you know um a hey, rebuking that brother, man. And hey, that's gonna that's gonna rub off on you as well. All right, now it's gonna make it's gonna make you better. All right, if you don't be you know a hypocrite. All right, and actually, a hey, consider consider your ways as well, because hey, that brother's gonna consider you, man. Because the spirit is always, you know, you're looking looking at each other. That's how the Lord does it. Well, this is Hebrews ten and twenty five. It says, "Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together." All right, so hey, we're not gonna forsake the assembling of ourselves and coming together. All right, we a, a, a may have a a coming together on fight night. All right, we come together on on, on a fight night, man. They spend time with brothers, man. Talk to brothers. I see what's been going on with, with brothers, man. They looking at each other, counting us, you know, all these things. They seeing if we good. Because what it says, as the manner of some is, because they, 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 a lot of people, they get into that habit. I right, am not uh, um, being around the brothers, not seeing the brothers. And then what, man? You you start to lose uh, the, 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 the spirit. All right, you start to lose the, um, you know, the flow, the connection with brothers, man. All right, because you would know what, a, what, what certain things that brothers like. All right, whether it be a precept that a brother likes to pull out, all right, that fire, fire, you know, both of y'all up, and now the precept's coming out, you know, perfectly, man. All right, so, hey, you got to know your brother, be around the Akim more and more. And that's speaking to myself first and foremost. But it says, but exhorting one another, all right, exhorting each other to keep going, all right, to keep on fighting, as it said in um, that uh, Acts 14 and 22. It says, and so, much, and so much the more, as you see the day approaches, so, hey, as we see all hell about to break new Jacob's trouble coming, all right, closer and closer. Hey, what, man? We got to do these things more and more to build each other up, to make sure that we all on point and make sure that we ready for that great and dreadful day of Yahweh Shemal Shah. So, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Chakurash, that will honor to our elders and apostles of great meals, son of dual will, and salutations and blessings to you, I can as pushing this word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.